Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write OSGI configuration in a separate file. So rather than writing OSGI configuration within the backend module, we have a way to write these configuration in a separate file and then we can refer those configuration in our other backend modules like uh, service scheduler and all. Uh, so in previous tutorial, I explained the basics of how to write OSGI configuration. If you did not see that, please go back and check the tutorial number 31 of the same series where you can get all you know basics of writing OSGI configuration. Uh, so what I will cover in this tutorial is uh, how to write OSGI configuration in a separate file. Then I'll show you how you can store that configuration as you know as in code base in form of either OSGI configuration node or NT file node. What I have already explained in tutorial number 31 as well means previous tutorial, and then we'll see a demo. Uh, so in previous tutorial, I created this OSGI configuration. Uh, so if you go back and check the code of this file there is a service inside that service i wrote this osgi configuration so if you see uh, this line number 12 to line number 52 this code is only used to write osgi configuration within this service right but this service is you know created to write some custom code to solve some business logic but if you see most of the part of this uh, file is already occupied with only for this configurations right in this simple scenario i have five files but later on i can have more files so rather than writing this whole thing whole osgi configuration code within the backend component there is a way you can write this osgi configurations in a separate file and then you can refer those inside your any backend component like service scheduler and all so i'll show you how you can write all these in a separate file and then you can call it so uh, if you see i created a separate package called config means inside inside my package and inside that i wrote a class and then i wrote the same code within a separate file just change the name so you have to take care of it whatever the name of your at the rate interface that should be the name of your class means the file you should have geeks osgi config.java and the same name you should have here and rest of the things are exactly same you and i will not explain how you can write these fields because i have already explained in this previous tutorial so now you have written it right in a separate file but you need to understand how you will call it so now you can call this or refer this in any backend component right so we, i have a you know another service I'll show you by calling this in another service. Okay, so I'll have a proper demo for this. So this is our demo. I have a OSGI configuration, Geeks OSGI configuration, and then I will call this OSGI configuration uh, in this service. Right, this will be a new service, and the values I will return those values just for the display purpose. This is the component I used in previous tutorial as well. So whatever I configure here, I'll pass on here and then we'll display here okay just just for the demo purpose okay ideally uh, you always use this configuration in your backend itself but just for the demo purpose i'll show you here so now you will be seeing here this is a completely separate file earlier i wrote this configuration inside this service right but now we have a completely separate file and we are just referring that in in any any backend component you can refer right uh, like uh, we can refer in we can refer in any type like you can other service scheduler event handler servlets and workflow process whatever the backend component you have you can refer those okay uh, so to use that OSGI configuration you have to add designate tag annotation as i already explained you okay designate and uh, you should have a ocd property object class definition right what is that object class definition what you're seeing here it will this this is the object class definition this will generate a configuration for this and inside i'll give the you know this class so you have to make sure as soon as you generate add this annotation it will generate a configuration for you suppose if you add the same uh, add the designate annotation with the same file 
it will generate the duplicate so i'll show you i'll show you that use case as well so let me write now the rest of the things are exactly same i'll call this inactivate method and i'll create a getter and setter so let me write that code for you uh, so i have written the code <coughs> so you will see here these are the simple uh, I declare a variable inside activate method i'm just calling it and inside that i'm assigning values whatever is there in OSJ configuration okay and then this is the simple uh, getter methods which i will return to component in slim model you have to take care of it whatever you write in designate tag this is my designate tag so what is this ocd this is basically what you define here means your name of your interface class right you have to take care of it because this tag is used to generate your OSGI configuration for your class okay uh, so that's my sling model where I'm calling this service and I'm just returning these methods get the methods right to front end and uh, this is my site link so this is my site link where I'm printing those values right service ID uh, service name module name and the service URL what X you know wrote here there I have three fields okay so let me deploy Uh, so once your deployment is done you go to the system console and config manager and try to search our configuration so you will find this am geeks modular osgi configuration which is new configuration this is what i created yesterday uh, means in previous tutorial so open it you will find these fails okay i wrong open wrong one this is one. this is mine okay these are the three fields these are the default information okay now let's see how you can create this OSGI configuration as as a node or as a file okay once you save it let me give some value let me modify a bit so once you save it you can see these configuration changes here right now the changes you can see here okay so as I told you once you save this configuration the first time or you did not create your co uh, configuration inside the code base but if you save it through the console so first time it will save your configuration inside the system go to the apps and they they should be system right system config go there and you will find your configuration see this is by default aem saves your configuration in a dot config file this is a type of empty file basically you can write in this file right means this is kind of whiteboard and you can write it so from here you should move this configuration to your own project folder on run mode right i have explained you yesterday so go to the am geeks and move this to inside this folder these are the basically run modes we will have a proper separate tutorial for this okay just move this file Okay, I moved inside this. I should move inside folder. Okay, if you open it and try to change something, right? Here, from here. Do not go to the console and change something here. Okay, so let me add service ID 55 five and something 05. Save it and try to refresh it. So if you see the changes have been reflected itself okay so by default it's save in file dot config in nt file so you can store in a osgi node as well as i told you yesterday so just i am just removing it and create a osgi node search here sling OSJ config and as I told you in previous tutorial what should be the name go here and open it if you don't understand and whatever your PID is persistent ID copy this and just save it and now add your properties whatever the your properties had so how you can find properties either 
you can have this method names uh, right without parenthesis so you can write service id uh, service name and then service url without parenthesis or you can go back to console and whatever you see here this is the same thing just take it make sure you have the same type means if it is a string you can have a string itself okay so let me save it this is a number so i can give a double and i can write something okay add same way i can write others as well uh, so if you see i have added these uh, properties and if i change it let me refresh this page so as soon as you refresh you will see the updated values what you write here okay so that way you can deploy your configuration as part of code same as you did in uh, previous tutorial right even you write the configuration in separate file you can do the same thing okay just you need to take care of the name of this node of this you know, name of this node and you can find the same changes inside your console as well just refresh this okay if you open it you will find the latest changes what you did in your repository means your node so basically you have to deploy your configuration as part of code base either in a dot nt means dot config file or as a osgi node uh, so that way you can store your configuration in a separate file rather than writing inside a backend module uh, so i hope you understood if you have any question please let me know do comment thank you very much